Hi everyone, it's me. Today we're going to set up the beginning spreads in my brand new bullet journal. So what I did first was plan out the pages I wanted to transfer from my old bullet journal to this new one. I also chose different shades of pink and purple to use for these beginning pages. Once I chose the spreads I wanted to create and the colors I wanted to use, I went ahead and drew these really rough outlines for my ideas in pencil. Then I went over them with my Pigma Micron pens, and I'll show you guys that process now. The first page I wanted to decorate was the name page. I know a lot of people like to keep this page simple, but I want to open my notebook up to something that's more me. And I really like pink and also flowers, so this is perfect for me. Just a side note, I am going to put the links for all the items I use in the description box. So if you're interested in that, take a look in the description box. So the second page is a yearly calendar with all the months and days on it. I typically use this page to keep track of my moods by highlighting over the date with a certain color that corresponds with the mood. I know this part can take a while, so if you would like, you can skip forward to the 4 minute and 20 second mark. By the way, I typically leave timestamps in the description box, so you can easily navigate to parts of the video that you want to watch. next page is my grid spacing guideline. It's not really anything complicated, I just divide the page into halves, thirds, and fourths, both horizontally and vertically. When I was counting the grids, I made the mistake of starting the numbers on the very first row, so that made it hard for me to draw the lines to divide the page up. If you make this spread, I recommend starting the numbers on a row or two below the first one. This page is helpful when you're creating your monthly, weekly, or daily spreads and want to divide the pages up evenly. With this guide to refer to, you don't have to keep counting the grids every time you create a new spread. 
On this adjacent page, I wrote a quote that says, Be patient with yourself. Nothing in nature blooms all year. I thought this quote was suitable for the flower theme that I have going on. Here, I'm just using some of my acrylic stamps to add more interest to the quote page. working on the yearly planning page. What I did was split the page into thirds using the handy grid spacing guide, and I did this over four pages. I'm leaving a blank space next to each monthly calendar so that I can write important dates in that space. When I do my monthly planning, I can refer back to this spread for reminders that I might have forgotten about or events that I need to plan for. This page is a goals and dreams page. I like to do this each time I start a new journal since it's an opportunity to reflect on how I've taken steps towards my goals and what I still haven't accomplished. It gives me the bigger picture about what I want out of life so that when I'm planning the little details of each week, I can look back to this and see how my weekly plans might fit into my goals and dreams. I also made sure that I listed out my values and made sections for each value. Within each section, I plan to write goals that are related to the section's value. When decorating the spread, I try to keep the theme consistent with the pinks and purples, but I did get a little excited about this one and my hand got too heavy with the greens. Let me know what you guys think of it in the comments below. Next spread is a goal tracker for my volunteering as a crisis counselor. I want to reach 200 hours before I finish my bachelor's degree. Each grid is an hour, with each row being 20 hours. When I finished with the hour tracker, I decided to draw out flowers representing the number of people I helped. When I reach a certain number, I will color in the flower corresponding with that number. I did
did already do this page in my old bullet journal and already colored in some of it, but since I didn't finish it yet, I'm transferring it here to my new journal. Now I'm just working on my list of things to look into eventually. These are things like shows, movies, music, and books that people recommend to me but I can't get to right away. I also included a section for things that I want to learn and research. This page is my ideas page for YouTube, my blog, and also my bullet journal. Feel free to let me know if there's something you want to see, whether that's on YouTube or on my other social media pages. Okay, so I know I said I wanted to do a flower theme for these beginning pages, but I split the beginning pages into sections based on if it's planning, tracking, or school spreads, and with this section, I decided to do a cloud theme. It's still consistent with the overall pink and purple colors, so I'm okay with deviating from the flowers a little bit. is a Polaroid page since I love taking my Polaroid camera with me, whether it's when I go out with my friends, family, or even just on dates with my boyfriend. This next section is related to college. On these two pages, I'm creating space to write down classes I want to take both outside of my major and also within my major. 
For those of you that aren't in the U.S., a major is basically your area of study. Then this page is a tracker for the courses I did take and how those courses count towards my graduation requirements. School can be a pretty big stressor for me, so on the right, I'm just writing down a quote about focusing on doing my best and trying not to stress. Here I am writing down the requirements for psychology majors at my school. drawing in flowers to color in when I complete a required course. For this big flower, I'm just labeling some of the petals as general class requirements. So rather than a specific course like for example, research methods, it's a general requirement like taking two 300 level courses or two lab courses. Okay, for this final spread, I'm doing a reflection on last semester. As the semester is about to start, I always like to try to reflect on the previous semester. I have the sections divided into accomplishments, energy tracking, a system check, and time tracking. For the energy tracking, it's just beneficial to reflect on because I want to make sure the majority of my energy is going towards my goals and not towards things I don't actually want to spend energy on. The system check is just checking different systems I have in place, like a planning system, my organizing system, my note-taking system, stuff like that. When I fill in the spread, I'm going to describe these systems and then rank them from one to five stars, with one signifying that the way I did things was not working for me. Then the time tracking section is for reflecting on different kinds of school related work I did throughout the year, like reading, writing essays, studying, and then seeing how long those things take. I really like this section because it's useful throughout the year when I schedule in study time since I have a much more accurate idea of how long a task is going to take. It's also useful to see if I'm spending more time on something than I'd like to. Then I can adjust my time accordingly in the upcoming semester. Finally, I'm just going to go back and write in the titles over the watercolor paint and also add some extra decorations. Thank you so much for watching this far. I hope you were inspired by some of these spreads and have fun journaling. Feel free to stick around to see the end results.